Hello everyone, welcome back. So yesterday, Robinhood just filed the S1 documents to SEC. So today I want to share three fun facts about the company and some bulls and bears about the stock. So now let's get started. The first fun fact is that Robinhood was founded in 2013 and until now it's already been eight years. So at the time, the founders Vlad and Baiju had found the company because of the movement of Occupy Wall Street. A lot of retail investors are very angry about what Wall Street has did, so they come up with ideas to take from the rich and help the poor. And that's also what the name Robinhood come from. The second interesting fun fact is Robinhood revenue source. As shown in its S1 document, as well as the previous Forbes report, 80% of Robinhood revenue comes from payment of order flow. That means Robinhood sells the user data to the big market makers like Citadel, Virtus, and the Two Sigma, and then they get a rebate of that order flow. Robinhood also have other revenue stream, including the interest that come from the user's money in their account, and also some value added service like their Robinhood Go service. But comparing with their main revenue stream, those other revenue stream seems not that crucial. The third interesting fact that until today, Robinhood has more than 18 million users. If we are comparing with other broker dealers, that number is huge. And we can say that Robinhood almost become monopoly in this retail trading industry. And a lot of users, especially the millennial and Gen Z are using it. The assets under the custodian is more than $80 billion. That shows that although the average retail customers may not put a lot of money into the account, but once the 18 million customers add up, that can be a lot. So now let's come to some bulls and bear about the Robinhood stock as it will probably go public in the month of July. It's expected market cap is around 30 billion to 40 billion. The first bullish opinion is that Robinhood has accumulated such a large user base in this industry. That means Robinhood has a very big brand name and very famous. If you search in the app store, Robinhood is probably ranking first in the app store because it has so many users and uh, reviews and uh, people always see it in the media. The second bullish opinion is that Robinhood has been very creative with their design, comparing with the traditional broker dealers, which has uh, so many completed chart and technical analysis. It just makes the beginners feel dizzy. While on the other hand, Robinhood chart just have one line. It's very simple to use and very beginner friendly. A lot of Robinhood users are either millennial or Gen Z. Although these people are still at a young age and may not have a large amount of assets, but if we are looking long term, users' lifetime value would be very high. Since they have been using the Robinhood platform at the beginning, they are more likely to stick on the platform. On the long run, Robinhood can make more money from those users. The third bullish opinion is that Robinhood are really good at seeing the trend and also take advantage of human nature. Like in the platform, it always push some news notification to its users. As meme stock fancy in the January this year, a lot of people are fear of missing out and they are getting crazy about a lot of meme stock, including AMC, a lot of other stocks. And also since crypto has been super hot recently, Robinhood also adds a lot more crypto assets on its platform, including the famous Dogecoin. Robinhood can always catch the trend and they can also take advantage of the trend and make a lot of money from it. On the other hand, there's also a lot of bearish opinion about Robinhood stock. The first one is that Robinhood hasn't made profit yet. According to the financial statement it has released, in the recent quarter, it has had a net loss of $1.4 billion. Considering a company established for 
around eight years, it hasn't make profitable. So I think that may bring concern to some investor about their business model and the profitability. Even though Robinhood has benefited a lot from the past one year, since more and more individual traders are doing the trading on a daily basis and generate a lot of revenue for the platform. But uh, a lot of investors are concerned that whether it's sustainable and when we are back to normal and people are back to work, they can still have so much trading volume. The second bearish opinion is about their controversial revenue source. As we may know that all the broker dealers use payment for order flow as one of the revenue source, it seems that Robinhood payment for order flow are extremely profitable. According to the article released by Bloomberg, Robinhood doesn't have as much trading volume as TD Ameritrade last year, but they can make more profit from this payment for order flow. That's because comparing with TD Ameritrade users, Robinhood traders are more like beginners and they are more likely to lose money. So that's one of the source how the market maker is, is make money is to take advantage of the retail customers. And I just saw the recent interview of Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. They also criticized as this sort of revenue source. So the consequence would be the regulatory fines as we saw that the company just been fined $70 million because of that, this may also lead to the negative public image and probably some reasons why some investors would switch to the other platforms. The last bearish opinion is that some investors are concerned whether the Robinhood growth is sustainable. As we know that in past one year, Robinhood users have more than doubled, probably because that the Fed has adjusted interest rate to nearly zero, so a lot of stock price has rocketed, and also a lot of people are trading at home, so that's just pushed the stock market higher and higher. But when the interest rate has raised back to before pandemic level, that would lead to a market correction. If the stock markets are not as bullish as before, maybe some of the players are gonna leave the game. So that means whether the user growth would be sustainable has also be the concern of the investors. To sum up, Robinhood is a fintech unicorn that has been the first mover of the zero commission trading and it has been a big impact in its industry. And since they announced the zero trading, a lot of other big players like Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade also start using the new zero commission standard. So I would say Robinhood did make a big impact into the industry and society. But since the nature of the business is depend on the one of the revenue source payment of order flow, I'm not sure whether that's going to be stable or sustainable. So for me, I would not invest at the current level, also because I already invest in SoFi stock. And I think that companies like SoFi and uh, uh, Square, they have better chances since their payment business is more high frequency for the individual users rather than the single trading platform. That's all about Robinhood IPO. Hope you guys find it interesting. Please let me know what you guys do when Robinhood IPO. Would you long or short or you do nothing about the stock? I'd love to listen. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.